Hi all, it's Piotr. Today I will do a quick movie about the spectacular Spider-Man Omnibus by J.M. De Matteis and Sa Mustema. It was printed in 2021 in Poland. So nowhere else you can find it but only in Poland. Let's hope that sooner or later Marvel will do English version, as you can see. It's only in Polish language and it contains issues of Spectacular Spider-Man number 178 to 200. I was asked to do it from one of English viewers to know what is inside, what is the backstory of this omnibus. It contains quite a lot of issues as you can see it's very solid album. So now the history of this album and what it contains in more in depth. So here is the information what exactly and why it contains. Here is the information that issues 191, 198 original uh, pages, illustrations in English are not, mm, how to say it, are not in storage, they are lost. So people that did it for Polish edition, it was quite of a job for them to gather those panels, those illustrations. So quality of those issues are not, it's not very good, but you will see the difference. For me, it's not nothing as, as bad as it could be, but for someone that want to have everything perfect, it can bother them. But for me, it's okay. Most important is that we have this omnibus ready to read, and enjoy storylines that are very, very powerful. Additional information is that issue of Spectacular Spider number 189. At the end, there is a backstory about the death of Uncle Ben. And this short story that was additional storyline uh, was not kept in color version. But publisher gave it in black and white version at the end of this omnibus. Not at the end of the issue, but at the end of the omnibus. This story takes place after Crab and Last Hunt. It is very powerful about vermin. The topic is very hard. It's about child abuse. So, and it connects with vermin and at the same time we have second storyline that it's starting to reveal it's relations between Norman Osborn, Harry Osborn and Normie as you can see here so it's it's going on very deep emotional storyline and writers know what to do and art is superb to show exactly emotions and action. So this is the child within about Vermin and Harry Osborn. So on two levels. It's very very hard to read sometimes. Look, great great art. And Peter have problems, still have problems after Kraven last hand with everything that happens with him. He sees vermin everywhere. So this is one of this first line. It's long, but it's very interesting. Emotional, for sure. For vermin. And what has happened to him in, the, in his childhood is very, very sad 
controversial, but everything is very done very, very, very solid by the writer. We have confrontation with Harry, beautiful, that normal authority is between everything that is bad between Peter and Harry. And we can say this confrontation is for pause for a moment. Then we have very silly storyline, we can say that way. As, as what? As we have... Where is it? To show you who is coming back to down. You won't believe it, but... The frogman is back. It was done on purpose, so readers can chill out a little bit before. In my opinion, the best vulture storyline ever. It's about his thinking that he's dying, and we have him and poor Aunt May, and Peter is not very in good mood, so when Vulture attacks Aunt May, all hell breaks loose. It's very very good storyline, at least for me. She, she doesn't forgive him, what he did, how many people he killed. And then we start story with Harry Osborne confrontation. See, this is 189. And at the end of 189, we have Harry Osborne. As you can see, here is the end, but there are a couple of pages from normal issue. As I have this one, as you can see, it was a hologram issue. So at the end, we have those pages. Very powerful. So those pages in color version, they are not saved at Marvel, only in black and white, the publisher of this album put it at the end. But still, it's good that they add it here. Then another storyline with Rhino. Peter thinks that he's going after Spider-Man, but it turns out that it's all the way of Harry Osborn plan. It's all plan of the Harry Osborn, as you can see here. Harry is happy with all that is happening. Then we start the issue 191, as you can see, this is the, the here starts the issues that are not saved in Marvel in, in original form. That is what people in Poland work so hard to be able to put it to the amnibus. I don't see anything very very unusual, so for me it's good the what they did. 
I know that some people are not happy, but if there was no other way, it's good that we have here. So we have the store line with Puma, eye of the Puma. In the meantime, you see that Vermin is fighting and Peter and MJ have some family time. Fight, he is fighting to be one person, but it's not easy of course. Then it starts the death of Vermin second part here. That includes Baron Zemo, because he was the guy responsible for what happened to Vermin. It's a scary story, a little bit, but still very important for Vermin to be a human again, or at least as much as it's possible to be human again, all those secret senses with child abuse and being a two person. Second and here we have the beginning of we can say the final confrontation. That part of the X-Men I'm not not very big fan of for sure. It should be a, it's a little bit funny but still I, it's not for me but okay. And it was preparation for, as you can see, Harry was born in the back of the cover. And then back to the normal colors. You can see here Peter Parents back. But are there the truly his parents? Well let's say it's not obvious true, but as you can see, it leads towards the confrontation. Spectacular Spider-Man 200. I really love this issue. From one side, one side is heroic, and from the second one, it shows how deeply Harry Osborn took over from his father. And later on, we have this beautiful confrontation. When Harry gathers He's saying a little bit, but it cost him a lot, the new formu Green Goblin formula, as he dies in his friend's arms. You would say it's end, yeah? And here are those are the sketches I told you before. That are only in Marvel in sketches version. But as we all know, in regards of what Harry Osborn did, this epic Life Tift explained us that 
his machination against Peter were all developing because it was him that brought back the parents that you saw here parents of Peter even through the channel chameleon so it was all the evil man mind of Harry Osborne that put Peter through very very dangerous road just before the clan saga anyway this spectacular spider omnibus have is one of the best stories you can find about adult Peter Parker his wife his friends his best friend Harry Osborne that is Green Goblin Vermin that is very good storyline about child abuse it's a very hard story but this is something I expect from the comic superheroes sometimes to do that kind of stories so the Mateus is perfect in that Harry Osborn and his fight with his mind his legacy of Green Goblin and Vulture those are the storylines lines that define this run. They are perfect, very, very good. I'm really happy that we have this omnibus. I'm going back to it very often, even if, as I told you from issue 100, here, as you can see, Eye of the Puma, from 191 to 198, those issues are there quality of the pages are not very very good but still I don't think it's very bad but we have them X-Men storyline maybe not very good but we have those parents of Peter that Harry with Chameleon created so I think this will be it is something that I will love for a very long time. I hope that Marvel Comics will do English version of that sooner or later. If they have it already here in Poland so they can use it and maybe even do something more with this with those couple of issues. Maybe. Anyway, this is all from me. Polish version of Spectacular Spider and Omnibus by Demateis Salgustema. I hope to see you soon with other video from my site. Bye.